Kicking things off, we've got the baller of the month, and this month we're heading out to Helping Hoops Dandenong. Everyone, say hi to Daniel. So, do you know why you were chosen to be baller of the month? No. No. The reason why you're the baller of the month is because you've been coming here for about two years now, right? Yes. And every time you're here, you know what you do? You give 150%. How you feel? Amazing. Amazing? Okay. All right. So, knowing that you're the baller of the month, what are you going to do with that? You going to tell anybody at home? Yes. Yeah, who are you going to tell? My parents. Your parents? Any of your friends? Who? At school. You've earned this. Good on you, man. Great job, Daniel. Now, heading over to our volunteer of the month. Everyone, this is Josh. So, can you tell everyone what you've done to deserve the honor of the volunteer of the month? Um, pretty much just taking care of the tech side of things, I guess, for helping groups. So, taking all the help you plates so you guys can focus on displaying the programs and not tearing your hair out with all the gremlins that can come along with any kind of IT system. Some people may not actually realize it's a whole world. Um, out there behind the scenes, you know, that goes on. So as someone who's in that world, what would you say to, to people who may not be the best um, at coaching or at basketball, but still want to contribute to us and help uh, what would you say? Just, if you have any expertise or skills, just donate your time, really. Like, that's what I did. I got in contact with you, asked if you guys needed help with a website or anything like that. We did. Within a couple of days, you got back to me and said, yeah, sure, and since then, it's a good fruitful relationship. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's great. Um, so thanks, Josh, the uh, volunteer of the month for April. And yes. yeah, much appreciated. Slam dunk! How are you, everybody? We are at the Helping Hoops tournament, and I am Newitch. I am a tell. Helping Hoops has a brand new segment, which we're calling Kids Corner. Idea behind this is instead of us grown ups being the ones interviewing, asking all the questions, let's give the kids the camera, let them interview their friends, and hear directly from them, you know, what is important to them and what they like about Helping Hoops. If you want to check it out, it's up on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash helping hoops, and we're going to do more of these in the future. April has been a busy time for us with school holiday tournaments run for all of our programs. School holiday tournaments are a great way to get to know our kids a little bit better, give them more to do during the holidays, and look, just have a little bit of fun. So we've run programs for our kids in public housing, special needs, and also some of our older kids, and we'll look forward to doing it again next school holidays. All right, Third Man Up charity tournament. So Third Man Up, a new not-for-profit here in Melbourne, ran a tournament to raise money for Helping Hoops. And we decided to put in a team of our own just to uh, represent, show everyone what Helping Hoops is about. So kids from our Helping Hoops Future program represented extremely well, had a great day, made the grand final and came in second. So thanks to Third Man Up and all the kids from Helping Hoops Future. Guys, thanks for watching. We're out for April. May is going to be epic. So stick around. We look forward to bringing you the next one. Helping Hoops Bounce.